Why should a virtual MC know something about technology? I wouldn't say just something. You should know a lot about the technology. That's what I'm going to discuss over here. Hello everyone, MC Tamarasan here from Chennai Event MCs, Entertainers and Professionals, Event MC, MC Trainer, MC Manager and the founder of the Above Brands. The time since we had the lockdown, all the MCs, uh, we started uh, transforming ourselves into virtual MC. Basically, uh, what an MC is, an MC is the one who hosts a show from start to the end in a smooth way and also MC engage, interact with the audience and entertain them. These are the primary role of an event MC and basically MC should be confident enough to handle the people, uh, should have good communication so that uh, whatever he or she communicates that that has to be understood by the audience. So these are the primary skills of an MC. But when it comes for online MCing uh, uh, beyond your communication, beyond your confidence, a virtual MC has to know the technology as well. Uh, what is the major reason for this? Uh, in fact, I've spoken this topic uh, almost like eight, nine, year, uh, nine months back itself. Like um, when I started hosting online events, uh, I could uh, uh, realize there are certain things, uh, the online works in a different way. So I said like, uh, if it's a physical event uh, for an MC, you can say, usually I don't believe in competition or I, do, I don't talk about competition. However, for the comparison stage, uh, for the comparison seat, I can say, yo, uh, if you're a physical MC, like if you're an MC who hosts a physical event, uh, you can consider another MC as a competitor for you. But when it comes for online event, uh, another MC is not at all a competitor for you. Rather, a company CEO, a company's VP, general manager, HR and trainer, all those people are competition for you. This is what I said in my uh, couple of my videos nine months back itself in fact i could see that uh, over here now for example i've been hosting a lot of online events uh, and uh, most of the events i'm not an mc rather i'm a technical host over there whether it's in zoom or whether it's in airmeet or in some other platform in some places i'm an uh, mc and most of the places i have been handling only the technical things likewise uh, like me there are a lot of the mcs who have transformed themselves as a technical host and still there are a lot of mcs uh, who have not uh, transformed themselves as technical host still they're looking out for opportunities like virtual mc or physical MCing. At least uh, virtual MCing, if they are going to get the opportunity, that's really great. But if they are if they're just going to wait for the physical MCing and what if another lockdown is going to come or what if physical events are reduced. In fact, we could see that a lot of physical events are already reduced because uh, most of the corporate, they have already declared a work, work from home until next January or until uh, June also for some of the companies. So in that case, definitely they are not going to have their physical events. So at least uh, I can say though I mean, my numbers may be wrong, but still uh, as an assumption, we can say at least 50% of the events are dropped, the physical events are dropped. However, these companies, they want to conduct these events virtually, whether it's a employee engagement activity or whether it's a conference or whether it's a team building activity, whatever it is, they just don't want to drop all these things just because they are working from home. At the same time, they are not able to give as many events what they were able to give during the physical events. For example, if a corporate has been giving around 12 events in a year, uh, probably as of now, they may be able to give only uh, four to six events. That is the uh, truth and that is a fact. So in that way, uh, an MC has to be uh, fully equipped with the technology related stuff so that uh, he or she can sustain in the industry. That's the basic thing I would uh, request or I would suggest all the MCs. Basically, you need to understand online events uh, doesn't need most of the MCs. Uh, they rather, uh, most of the corporate, they take care of the MCing part by themselves. Either the CEO or the general manager or the VP or the HR team or any of the trainers, they themselves take care. They need MC support only in the technical aspect because they don't want to get too much into the technical aspect. In fact, most of the corporate, they have been handling the technical aspects as well. I've I've seen them like um, in some of the places, even though I'm called as a technical host, I could see that the corporate uh, HR or the GM, they are already well trained on the technology aspect. However, since they are busy with a lot of the stuff, uh, they don't want to get into the technology related stuff and they want us or my team members to handle it. But when it's come for MCing, most of the time they say that no, they will take care of the MCing part. In fact, that's what I've seen. So this is an alert or this is a uh, caution I'm giving to the MCs once again, whatever the, I said a year back. Once again, let me reiterate it. Be uh, good enough. Uh, be uh, Keep yourself prepared to learn the technology because uh, definitely again for another few months or another year, we are going to work uh, more on uh, virtual events. Even though there are physical events happening, it's not as many events that there was happening before the lockdown. So keep yourself prepared for the virtual events. If you'd like to sustain in the industry, uh, if you like to grow in the industry and also virtual MCing is something it's a niche, even though that's not actually niche, it has been in the industry for more than five, six years, hybrid events or virtual MCing that has been in the industry. But uh, people like me who, who didn't, uh, who didn't uh, keep us updated with those terminologies, but once lockdown started, of course, I did a lot of research and learned about virtual MCing, I learned about hybrid events. So I'm able to sustain in the industry. Same way, 
if you like to succeed in the industry if you like to thrive in the industry if you like to uh, keep up your market then definitely as a responsible mc you need to keep yourself thorough with the technology and also i'm not denying the fact, i'm not saying that you'll not get mc opportunity at all of course for that we need to work a little more harder like if i need to compete with a ceo or compete with a vp who knows very well about their team members or for them they would like to give the introduction if if i need to get that opportunity from them i need to be extraordinary i need to tell them this is what i'm going to do this is what i will be able to do so i even i am also myself and my team members also working on that because most of the time companies corporate they are um complacent with what they are doing now they wanted just uh, their team members to do but when a third when an external mc has to come inside then we need to uh, prove that yes definitely we can do a great job compared to what they have been doing so in that way i need to or my rather my team has to we not only me or my team or everyone any of the mcs we need to work hard on that however to get into the online industry if you know the technology related stuff it's little easy for you to get inside that's what i wanted to share over here beyond this there are a lot of the things that has to be discussed uh, with later to virtual events uh, probably i'll be coming on a live or uh, some other in the daytime so that we can have a lot of interaction over there if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions or opinions based on your experience in the last one one and a half years please do leave it as a comment uh, below on my instagram live or if you are watching it in facebook or if you are going to watch it in youtube now uh, please leave it as a comment over there so that others can also get to know that you can also uh, prove your expertise like uh, that's the reason i ask you to comment because uh, when you're going to comment of course people are going to recognize you they are also uh, getting to know about you who you are and what you are doing and based on your comment again uh, you are going to uh, get the expert portion that's the reason i'm asking you to comment as well you can also whatsapp me on my mobile number 9003087198 thank you so much have a wonderful time